Good morning, good evening, good night. This is Zana24, and I'm showing you Way of the Hunter. Hunting Zones. Alright, so in Way of the Hunter, there's different animals, and in each animal, let's just say, we'll say this white tail right here, or mule deer, sorry. When you discover it, and I'll show you that later in the video, discovering something, when you discover it, you will have the animal, so that basically means that in this area, that herd is available, like, is going to be in that area to hunt. Now... Doesn't mean it's going to be right there. It just means that's the general location. Each animal is going to have two eating, which is this, two drinking, this, and two sleeping zones. Each herd. When that happens, <clears throat> when you locate them, so for this mule deer pack or herd, I have not found the other two. So basically, there's going to be one that's often eaten at, and they're usually kind of big areas. There's not you know, depend on the animal. And there's going to be less frequent. So frequently eaten at and less frequently eaten at. There's also sleeping and drinking. So how that works is they will go to the one that's not eaten at as often. But it's only going to happen every once in a while. Probably... Eight to nine tens out of time, they're going to go to the most often drinking, sleeping, and eating zone in the time period that they would do that for that breed of animal. So, the only reason they will change areas is if your hunting pressure is really high. So, if they are at their eating area and you kill them, the next time that they go eat, let's say there's an eating area, we'll just say there's one right here. It probably is somewhere right here, but we'll just say there's one right here. That one will turn into its often eating area. Eating area. Now, it may be more than one hunt. It could be, you know, you kill something in that herd twice, like two different times. Then this will. So they'll sleep. They'll have to travel way down here to eat, and then they'll travel way back over here to drink. From my experience, that's what they've kind of been doing. And uh, from my research, that is also what many other people have been seeing. So, in the case of that, if let's say they do have to eat over here, if you want to hunt them coming from their sleeping area to their eating area way down here, you'll need to post up near their eating area or on the trail. If you find a trail that they often take, then you can hunt the trail. The only issue is they have only so long to get from here to there, eat, and then get it from food to water. So they're going to be traveling a lot quicker and won't be stopping as often. Now, if they're only traveling this short distance, then they'll stop a lot more and kind of graze or, you know, mosey around, giving you a better opportunity to shoot them. Their eating areas can be kind of large, depending on the animal. It'll have a couple different spots where they'll eat. And so you may not, depending on where you're at, this area is really open, but depending on where you're at, you may not be able to see every eating spot from one location in the case of this I'm right here there's a trail right here with tracks so I'll show you what tracks are but um if you're gonna follow the tracks or hunt the track the path that they walk but first to find out what animal eats what and or not what they eat but when they eat when they sleep and when they drink you'll go to the encyclopedia you go to animals and we'll do mule deer so mule deer, they sleep from 12 a.m. or they sleep around 12 a.m. a.m. I usually give them about, on average, um, an hour each way. You could do two hours each way because they'll probably start traveling somewhere in this area to the next area, but they could sleep in and then travel to this area. It's just a window. This is their most common time around that time. They'll eat 5 a.m. from when they were sleeping. 
So if that's the case, you, if you're going to post up in a deer stand or something overlooking a feeding area or a path that they take, then you might be there for a few in-game hours. And they may not even go to that eating zone. It may be an unlucky chance that they go to the less often eating zone that day. There's always that chance. So they sleep from 12 a.m. They eat around 5 a.m. They drink around 9 a.m. And then they sleep again around 1 p.m. Eat again around 5 p.m. And then drink around 10 p.m. <clears throat> Every animal has its own little drinking zone. I have seen some that get close to overlapping, especially feeding zones. I've seen uh, deer, I think it was white-tailed deer and wolves had a pretty close eating area, which I guess kind of makes sense because the wolves might be eating deer. I don't think, I don't know if they actually kill your deer in your packs, in your herds, but um, I don't, you know, I don't think that's how it works. Now, there are, in the last update, 1.20, they added roaming deer. So you'll have like a lone buck or maybe a buck and a doe, which is nice. Not positive how they work. They may just go to random eating areas and random drinking areas that are dedicated to their species. I would assume they have to eat and drink and sleep just like the rest of them, but I think they roam. So they could be at any of them. Now they probably, if I had to guess, will go to, you would think they go to the most often ones, but they eaten, but they may go they probably all like change. So if they do go, now this isn't known. The update's pretty new. I haven't been able to figure it out yet. If I had to guess, then they probably go to opposite. If they're going to go to that eating area for that herd, they're probably going to do whatever opposite of what the actual herd is doing. They'll be just kind of roaming. And then they can probably, they can go to any of them. So, that's how I think it'll work. Um, that's how I would expect it to work, and that's probably the best way I think it should work. That's my thoughts on it. I guess we'll find out in the coming weeks. Now, so now you know how to find, you know, gray wolves when they eat, sleep, all that stuff. See, their times are different. Once you know that, you have to find on the map their eating zones, and you have to basically scout it. So, like right here, here's a path. This path, with hunting sense on, you can analyze and see the path they took. Now if I analyze this, the droppings from the mule deer, it says dried out. So these are pretty old. They uh, don't take this path very often. And you can kind of see the path right there in the grass where it's kind of like dead, I guess. This is what a mule deer, these aren't really good ones right here. They turned around. We'll go down here. This is a mule deer track right here. You can analyze it. And now you can see that it's mule deer tracks. Now for these, let's see if I can get a good view. The grass is kind of getting in the way. See if I can find it. Here's a lot of tracks. So this is what mule deer tracks look like. Now all tracks are going to look different depending on the animal obviously but for mule deer they have like dew claws or like a little hoof in the back of their foot that's where those two little dimples are on the ground and then the toe kind of curls up like that and gets skinnier a lot of i guess white-tailed deer have the same kind of track on the game they don't really show the little dimple but it kind of is the same pattern it's a little less defined so you know it's a little harder to tell which way they're going but once you figure it out, it's not too bad. So it gets it's thicker on the back of the hoof, and then the toe kind of goes up and gets thinner. You know this deer, or this mule deer, was traveling this direction. It obviously turned around at some point and came back this direction. So this path isn't taken often. I'll show you what a feeding zone looks like. Um, I think there's one up here. Excuse me. I'm pretty sure there's a feeding zone up here for... I don't think it's mule deer. Might be. Like this. This is actually a American Badger. See, they got a different print. They kind of overlap a little bit right there, but you can tell this right here is the paw, and there's the little 
toes, where the claws are. So you can tell it was going in that general direction. Now I want to say I've seen an eating zone over here, which I don't know why it's not marked on the map. Yeah, right here. This might be the same eating zone, like I said, for this. New perk unlocked, fast and loud. So here's the eating zone. You can analyze it. It's pheasant. That's why it's not popping up. I don't have a pheasant chosen. So pheasants eat here often. So there's a very often eating zone. This is going to be their main eating zone. And this is basically where they'll come to eat. Now it's, uh, like I said, it's not guaranteed they're going to come here. But this is their main eating zone. Now you know about hunting zones, how they work. I appreciate everyone watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Follow me on twitch.tv slash Dan24. And I will be making more content for y'all. Have a good morning, good evening, good night, and peace out.